unordinary days. No one could have foreseen this situation. A virus outbreak all over the nation. The death rates go up. We needed to implement some regulations. Every place I went, everywhere I see, everyone felt so distant to me. I mean, literally. A rule that says to be far apart, your safety is not guaranteed. This scenario really breaks your heart when everyone had to be so far apart. There was so much fear, so let's restart. Everyone can understand your pain. We have all felt the same. That's why you're not alone. So, look at what we gain. Say goodbye to all the strain. Say goodbye to all the disdain. Say farewell to all the malice. Say goodbye to the pain. Everyone will be okay. Medicine is on the way. Lives are at stake, so there's no time to delay. Come get your vaccine before it's too late. Don't worry about the money, there's no need to pay. Everyone will get equal medication. The government will provide equal compensation. No more need for a mask. We can have a proper face-to-face -face conversation. This pandemic might not have been pleasant for some. Think about the future, let's not succumb. Look at the positives, what a fond memory this would become. This event might have made us feel divided. We had all become short-sighted. It might feel like you're alone, but in reality, we are all united. The Being as a Poet If you should see a bee flying down a crowded street, talking aloud to itself, don't run in the opposite direction, just sit still. For it is a yin, and you have nothing to fear from a bee but a bop. This poem is not quite a poem. It is a brief description of what occurred when I stopped using the family cell phone plan, the associations it produced. There is a famous story told by Henry Hudson's first mate, Robert Jewett, about how the navigator had decided to give the Delawarean people alcohol when the European colonizers made first contact. This was before Columbus. The native warriors became so enraged by the substance that Hendrik imprisoned them beneath the ship, braved arrow fire all the way up the North River before it was called the Hudson. But in this version, I bought a new cell phone plan. It was discounted for so-called first responders. And it came with a free direct TV package I had to accept if I wanted the deal. I believed I deserved the discount even though I didn't own a television and I'd just gotten the job as an assistant professor. You see, healthcare was on the way not to mention some more capital. I had survived the pandemic on the salary of an adjunct and some help from the family plan. Even if I was still suffering through paranoia and delusions developed while trying to teach through the university's Zoom. I forgot to remove the satellite service from my account before the month-long free trial period was over. Then what had happened was, I was sitting assumedly at the laptop where I write and watch television shows when a text message arrived, seemingly addressed to another. It read, Hi, Taino, I'm Jintong, a volunteer with NYC Votes, 
On 628, New Yorkers are voting for state offices like governor and state assembly that could impact your rights. Our future is on the ballot and you can vote early this weekend on election day. To learn more, visit www.nycvotes.org. Can I count on you to vote? Reply stop to quit. That is how I discovered again that I had indigenous roots. Taino, of the people who lived in the places we now called Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the Bahamas, and at the very least, we know the Northern Lesser Antio. Call me when you get home. Ebony Odom Barnes. 20,000 rounded rectangles, resting existence saved on average. Pop! A token of God's appreciation. National irises cut above the node. Bang! Live life. Government action figures with no arms, door with no handle, dismantle, they keep screaming, mommy, bang, bang, bang. Yes, moonwalking, backflips on Legos, trust falls into the abyss, the chain popped on Hope's bike, back in the garage, more kids. The revolution comes. When the revolution comes, my dear, you will be asleep. When the revolution comes, you will not be upset that you slept through the revolution. When the revolution comes, you will eat breakfast with your family and no one will tell jokes that exploit those that y'all have outcasted but everybody will still be funny. When the revolution comes, that friend you used to have will say hello to you and explain that he was afraid to go outside until today because today, peaceful preachers aren't the only ones preaching peace. When the revolution comes, you will go to the bank to see how the bankers are handling all of this change and you will discover that no one is making money off of the speculation. When the revolution comes, you will go to the place you used to work just yesterday and you will not be required to labor. When the revolution comes, I will appear halfway through the day and you will explain to me zoo theory. When the revolution comes, you will say, the form of all things that have been and have yet to be. When the revolution comes, I will walk with you to the cemetery and we will see the people are not dead, they are just not here now. When the revolution comes, you will not see my intelligence as artificial. When the revolution comes, we will say, I am not prepared for the revolution and you will thank us for their existence and we will not be mad that it took you this long to feel it. When the revolution comes, we will see miracles you could never have imagined, giant celestial beings making themselves plain to us in the daylight, species communicating with you in a language we can understand and speak. When the revolution comes, Dusk will as well, and we will not be disappointed that this day is ending because you will have hope for tomorrow. When the revolution comes, we will fall asleep again into a deep and regenerative sleep and all of the things to come will begin again tomorrow.